do that. Oh, bro, <laughs> what the? Quick announcement. I thought that I would let you guys know. And good morning everyone. So we are on this first job for rear brake, disc and pads. This is just going to be labor only because the customer is actually providing the part. So we'll see if it's going to be a good part or a bad part. I reckon, I'm going to guess it's the good old Ica. The good old red stuff that he's going to provide. Or either the drive tech from GSF. We'll see for that. But anyway, yeah, let's get to it. I'm just waiting for him to bring his car out and uh, yeah, we'll start. All right, guys, so here's the vehicle in question. And as you can see, does he even have brakes? Oh my Lord, bro. Oh my God. That is the worst I've seen. Like, honestly, the worst I've seen. What is that? Bro, look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh. It's not, it's biting them. That's the only bit it's yeah, biting Yeah, that them. bit. Just that bit. I've not seen that before. That's so bad, isn't it? And also, look at this. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Other ones metal to metal, is it? Yeah, it's likely that it's binded, I think. Oh no, it's just metal to metal. Because uh, you can see right there, it's actually done. Let's go and get it changed. Let's go. Yeah, my sliding pin is, uh, is rock up, bro. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. I wouldn't say that's okay. So we'll have that clean. So that's the inside. That's the outside. Half braking? Is that even stable? a thing? Brake shoes are there. Might need adjusting like what he said. His, um, his handbrake is all the way back up. So we might have to adjust it and clean the brake shoes as well. Just to give it some grip again, let's just say. Right, if copper grease really works as an anti seize, what is that? That is the corrosion from copper. So I will definitely not be using copper grease on this one. Thing is to clean this. <laughs> what was that, man? That was wet. There we go. In there. In there. And so with Ikers, as you know, they still cheap out on the parts and stuff. So obviously you have to clean this one. As you know, a lot of you guys are saying there's grease on it, so give it clean. Put it in there, tuck it in. Alright, so he is just now adjusting the, the brake drums. Like what I said, the customer was complaining that his handbrake is all the way up, so we are ju just doing a courtesy. Look at this, we had no choice but to file it down because it's got, like what I said, tolerances are tight and this one obviously did not pass it. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's get it fitted. This It's annoying, holds you back. You're like, oh, I cleaned everything. And then you see a high spot on the brake pads. Oh, it's just annoying. All right, so that is all done for that brake. Um, hopefully the customer is happy with his brake pads in this is provided one but you know we're happy with our labor let's just say anyway we're gonna go to a uh, uh, audi a3 for a clutch and jewel mass fly replacement so let's go do that it's nice and sunny today so i think that's just okay so let's go so now we are in this nice Audi A3 over here. This one's in for clutch and dual mass flywheel. And uh, the main reason for that is being because his concentric slave cylinder has actually failed. You can just about see it here. It's leaking. Brake fluid there, look. You can see it under there as well by the gearbox anyway. Uh, we've just managed to move there because um, we actually bled it. And as you know, when the concentric slave cylinder in this fails, it's very gradual. You'll just start losing brake fluid and then air would obviously get in. And next thing you know, overnight, it's just gone. So yeah, we're going to be replacing that, not just the uh, concentric slave. We're going to be replacing the whole kit because it's likely that the, it's contaminated with brake fluid. Right, so we have just removed the uh, the top part and obviously my brother's done at the bottom now. There's only two bolts at the top left, which is that one over there and then that one. And that should be ready to go down. We want to be um, 
saving that for last so yeah because obviously as you know that's gonna start dripping on us but we've got bung there anyway i just don't want any mess of any sort so yep yep of course mate do you know who i am ronnie pickering off it's off yeah Bring the gearbox up a little bit. That's so annoying. Oh my god. I was benching the gearbox as well. But yeah, um, as you can see, the clutch is all well. It's not even adjusted yet. But it's been leaking slowly from that, from the concentric slave cylinder. So uh, that's why he didn't have any pedal. When we arrived there, mate. When, when we arrived there. Get that replaced, man. Let's go. Get that replaced and everything else. Oh god, alright, here we go. So, old flywheel is out, and then obviously the new flywheel is just there. Concentric, pressure plate, and everything else. New bolts as well. Ay, yeah, yeah. Look, it's burning out anyway, from the looks of it on the inside. So, good that it's been caught. Look, some slipping action going there. And you can also see it nice and clear on this one that it's been slipping. Or maybe it's just doing some uh, wheel spin, I don't know. I don't know how it drives. And here's this guy here just cleaning the gearbox. Here is the uh, burst concentric slave so yeah man let's put everything back on again and uh hopefully nothing goes wrong from here oh. Oh. Bro, I'm secure then. one second <laughs> he just left us for dead mate <laughs> say that again mate Mistake, isn't it? Oh. No, I should have uh, put the uh, cover on first. But... Ah, that's why. Cover it. Boom. No, we're still in the job, what's up? Uh. Alright everyone, so that is us all done for the day now. Yeah, it's nice and early, thankfully, so what's next? is we're going to be going to get ourselves some fish and chips because we are in Brighton and also quick announcement I thought that I would let you guys know we are going to be going on tour so with this one we are going to be going up to Scotland starting from Edinburgh and then we're going to make our way down I'm going to put in the description below what cities we're going to be covering whilst we are on tour so Keep an eye out for that. Drop us an email and also take our contact number. It's just right here, right here, right here, right here. Leave us a text message. Text us what's wrong with your vehicle and what needs doing. Hopefully, we can sort your car out for you. Thank you very much for watching. This is where I'm going to end the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and we will see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.